Good morning, everybody. I'm the Reverend Greg Botts, and you're watching me live right here on the tube. G Botts Ministry, so glad to be with you this morning on this last Sunday of October. I need you to give me a big hand for my wife, Miss Gail Botts, our producer. Let's have some church today and celebrate the name Jesus this morning. I want to dedicate this song to my sister, Carlotta Dunn. We're celebrating her birthday today. Come on, let's do it. Yeah. Because the Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. He lets me rest in the meadow's grass and leadeth me beside the quiet stream. He restores my faith. And helps me to do what honors him the most. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. Safe in, in his arms. Yeah. Because the Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. <laughs> he lets me rest in the meadow's grass and lead it be beside a quiet stream. Hallelujah. He restored my failing health. And helps me to do what honors him the most. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. Hey, safe in, in his arm, yeah. And when the storm. When the storm of, of life, of life is raging, and the billows, oh, 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 I'm so glad that he In, in his arms, 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Safe in his arms. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name. Bless his name. You ought to bless his name if you know that you're safe in his arms. Yeah, well, let's go into our prayer list. We're praying for the Upper Room Church over in Compton, uh, whose pastor, uh, associated pastor, was shot and killed right after morning service. God bless them over there in Upper Room. We're praying for Mr. Robert Kraft, and I'm praying for John David, John uh, David, J.D., my guitar player, who's still recovering from a stroke. We need your prayers. We need your prayers. We're praying for Edward Turner, who just had surgery. Edward, we're praying for you, sir, and we're praying for Joshua Brown, my nephew, uh, who had surgery on this week. And we're praying for Pastor Dave Box down in Texas, uh, my uncle, 90-some-odd years old. And we're praying for uh, Crystal Daniel. Crystal, we're praying for you that everything goes well. We know it will. We're giving it all to God in prayer. And Curtis Paul, we're praying for you. Uh, he's the brother of Valerie. We're praying for Maggie. Maggie, we're praying for you. Richard, we're praying for you. And uh, Cynthia Pitts, we always pray for you that God will give you peace and take care of all the situations that may occur. Uh, Richard Elders, we're praying for you, sir. And we're praying for Mary and Sylvester Young and their daughter, Myra, uh, the Young family. Stacy, we're praying for you. And we're praying for Timothy Hines. I believe he's down in Florida. We're praying for you, Timothy. And we're praying for Lewis Smith, who's in the hospital. Lewis, I'm praying for you. We're praying for La, uh, Lanita. Uh, we call her Lala. Lala, we're praying for you. Uh, and we're praying for Devante, my nephew. We're praying for Dolores Botts and Katie Botts, my sisters. And matter of fact, we're praying for the whole Botts family. We're praying for uh, we're praying for Mother Grant and her grandson Rocky uh, in Georgia. And we're praying for all of you on that coast out there in North Carolina and South Carolina. Praying for all of you. Want to say uh, happy birthday to my sister, who's an artist herself, Miss Carlotta Dunn. Happy birthday. Want to say happy birthday to Thelma of Carvetta Choice. T, happy birthday to you, babe. We're praying for you, and we thank God for all of you. Come on, let us pray today. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come asking your grace and your mercy over every name that we call today. Father God, we ask that you... Father God, be a way out of no way, Father. Father God, somebody's sick and can't get well, Father, but we know that you have healing power. So we ask that you pour out a blessing that they won't have room enough to receive. Take the medicine out of your garment, Father. We know there's enough for everybody. Father God, heal like nobody else can. Father, touch those that are bereaved, that are going through that church, Father. Uh, upper room, Father, bless them, Father. Father God, we know, Father, that you're able Father, we don't know why certain things happen, but we realize that Satan is just on the loose. We know that we're living in the last days. So we just ask that you be with us, Father. Father God, keep that protected shield around your people. We just say thank you. We ask that you bless our ministry. Bless every pastor and preacher that's going to preach this morning. Help us to preach an uncompromising gospel today. We thank you in advance. Bless g -Bots Ministries. Father God, bless our children. And Father, we just want to say thank you in advance for what you're about to do. In Jesus' name, we pray today. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. We thank you for tuning in on this Sunday morning. We thank you all for being here. We want to thank these musicians for always doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you. He shall hide me in, in time of trouble. He shall. I love that song. That's a powerful song. Thank God. For all of you that have tuned in today, let's get into the word. We're going to go to the book of John, chapter 3, verses 1 through 6. That's the book of John, the New Testament, King James Version, uh, chapter 3, verses 1 through 6. Hallelujah. And it reads like this. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou do doest, except God be with him. 
Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again. I want to stop right there. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born again? Uh, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Verse 6, that which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. I want to say that again. That which is born of flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. May God have a blessing Add a blessing to the readers and the hearers, most of all the doers of his word. For a subject today, you can't leave that here. Amen, amen. You can't leave that here. Yeah, yeah. We're living in a time where we don't really realize which way is up. We don't know up from down and down from up. We're living in times where the church have gotten way off track and confused and uh, allowing anything to go. We have uh, lost our values even in Hollywood. Hollywood is trying to uh, deceive us uh, uh, and desensitize us uh, in movie ads and television shows, even in ads and on TV commercials. We're being desensitized uh, of, th of things that the Bible says is wrong. And if you say something about it, you're going to be singled out in protest against yeah, we're living in strange times. The church have lost its voice and there's a lot of compromising going on. The church is gearing up uh, to cater to the young people now. You know, uh, everybody's talking about, well, you have to do something for the young people. But I remember when I was growing up, the Bible said, train a child in the way it should go. And when he gets grown, he won't stray. That's what the word of God tells us. Train a child, not compromise with them. We don't have to compromise with the young folks. When you leave the Bible, you leave God. So that's what the word says. It says, uh, train a child in the way he should go. That's what it says. Not to compromise with them. I'm sorry, but you know, the dances now in church ain't even the right dance anymore. You can't leave that here. You can't leave that here. You know, whatever you came in the house with have to be changed. Except the man be born again he cannot enter into the kingdom. That's what the word said. You must be born again. You cannot meet Christ. You cannot meet God and remain the same. You shouldn't even want to do that dance you used to do. You shouldn't even want to say those words that you used to say. You shouldn't even want to go to places you, you, you used to go. You cannot meet God. You cannot see Jesus and remain the same. You can't leave that here. Everything can come in the church with you. When you bring yourself into the church, the, you, you need to be changed. The Bible said we must be born again. What's born of the flesh is the flesh, and what spirit is spirit. That's what the scripture just said. So you, can't, you can bring it in, but it can't stay. Yeah, yeah. I remember coming up, my mother used to tell us when we come in the house to go and clean ourselves up, we had to wash our hands and and, 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 and wash our face after we got through playing outside because mama said that you can't bring that in here. You know, we, we were outside playing. Uh, many times we were picking up creepy crawlers and we might find a frog and we started playing with a frog and some of us found earthworms and we like to play with earthworms and different things outside. And mama would tell us, you can't bring that in here. It's the same thing with your life. You know, when your soul has been changed, when you have been washed, the Bible said that you have to be washed uh, white as snow. You can have blood on your hands. You can have blood on your hands, but they're going to be washed white as snow when you come into the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The scripture says, let the wheat and tarry grow together in the day of my harvest. I'll do the separating. Yeah, but he also said that, 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 that uh, on this rock, I will build my church and the very gates of hell would not prevail against it. So, that tells me that 
the very gates of hell can't come in. And if they do come in, they can't stay. You cannot bring everything in the church. That's the problem now. Churches have gotten so far off with our praise. We've gotten so far off. We're compromising with the young folks. You know, when they, just because they did the electric slide outside, you can't electric slide inside. Yeah, I know I'm preaching old school. I'm talking old school. You know, we have all these new cliches. What's old school? What's new school? But what does the Bible say? You know, they, they even use this as a cliche. What would Jesus do? I'll tell you what he wouldn't do. Jesus wouldn't crip walk in the church. Jesus wouldn't do the electric slide in the church. Jesus wouldn't take an outside wrap and wrap it in the church. Hallelujah, somebody. Somebody talk to me. You know, I, I remember hearing a song and I was at a function one day and a lady came, just stood by me and my wife and we were at this function and she said, I'm going home and put that song on. And I said, what song? She said, alone in the room, just me and you. And I'm like, alone in the room with who? It was supposed to be a church song, but to show you what I'm talking about, when we don't identify what is Christ and what ain't Christ, people will get their own definition of what they think it is. So uh, she was talking about the song, Open My Heart, that Yolanda Adam sang. But see, when you take Jesus out of it, you can say it's anything. Come on, somebody. The Bible says that the power of life and death is in the tongue. The power is in the name, Jesus. You never see R&B groups. You, you never hear a rap group rap about Jesus. So why should we compromise and do what they do when it comes to gospel music? Why is, are we the ones always got to compromise? Why is it? Why is it when God told us, he told preachers to preach an uncompromising gospel? That's what he told us to do. He told us to preach without ceasing. Hallelujah, somebody. I, I wish I was talking to somebody that know the word, not, not a compromiser, but somebody that have read the scripture and know that he said, I am the Lord thy God, I change not. That's what he said. That's what he said, church. He said, I am the Lord thy God, I change not. How come the churches are doing all this changing? You know, this stuff that these preachers are preaching nowadays, they should just pass out candy to go along with this, this sugary gospel they preaching nowadays. You know, if we're not preaching the wages of sin is death and the gift of, gift of life, uh, the gift of God is eternal life, you ain't preaching. If you're not preaching that he died on the cross and got up on the third day with all power in his hand and his name is Jesus, you ain't preaching. Yeah, yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, we got to preach an uncompromising gospel. Always talking about the young folks. Young folks ain't got nothing but now and later money. But it was the backs of the old folks that kept churches going. You know, old folks had jobs and, and they, they invested in the church. Stop compromising. Preaching uncompromising gospel. It's all right for young folks to have their place in the church, but everything can come in here. Hallelujah, somebody. We've gotten lackadaisical with our walk with God. We've, we've gotten soft with our spirituality. We're compromising Everywhere, everywhere you go is a compromise. That can't come in here. And if it come in here, it can't stay. I'd rather preach to 10 people than to preach to 10,000. Hallelujah, somebody. I'm going to say that again. I'd rather preach to 10 people than to preach to 10,000. The Bible said there's much rejoicing in heaven over one soul. I don't have to get 10,000 souls saved. If I just get one soul saved, I've done what the Lord told me to do. How dirty is your hands? How much compromising have you done? We let everything come into church nowadays. We must preach an uncompromising gospel. We're living in the last days. You know, uh, we're living in the last days. You know, people are getting AIDS in the church. How do you get AIDS in the church? Messing around in the church. Come on, somebody. There are some truth out there that nobody likes to talk about. We let anything go on in the church. But we got the answer for it. Hallelujah, somebody. You might bring it in here, but it can't stay. You can't bring that in here. I remember my mama and daddy's house. 
everything didn't go. Certain people you would bring over and mama and them would call you to the side and say, he can't stay here. You're going to have to take him outside and y'all go outside, but don't bring him back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we used to have our, our, our friends screamed. And if mama and daddy didn't approve, he can't come back over here. They can tell right off the bat, good from evil. And if you are not doing that, this is why your child comes home in a police car. This is why your child is out there gangbanging while you at home. You in church and your child is out there gangbanging because you're compromising. Young girls are wearing everything now. You can see anything. Everything goes. They come to church with club clothes on. You know, when I was growing up, we had church clothes. We had club clothes. We had clean up the yard clothes and everything else clothes. Nowadays, anything goes. Come on, somebody. You cannot bring that in here. Hallelujah. I'm preaching this morning. I don't know about you, but I'm preaching this morning. Somebody might say this ain't a, a shout message. Well, the reason it's not a shout message is because the church don't know what to shout about no more. We don't even know what the truth is anymore. Everybody wants to hear something sweet. Get your pie in the sky. You've been good. God's going to open up doors for you. God's going to do this and God's going to do. God ain't going to do none of that till you become born again. The Bible says, first seek the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Then all other things shall be added. You ain't getting none of that stuff. These preachers are selling you until you seek the kingdom. Look at somebody and tell them, seek the kingdom. Thank Come on, God. tell somebody to seek the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Then all other things shall be added. Uh, Proverbs uh, 14, 12 says this. There's a way that seemeth right to a man, but at the end is death. That's what Proverbs, Proverbs 14, 12 says. There's a way that seemeth right, but at the end is death. Uh, 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 I want to tell you that, you know, to be a Christian, you got to be born again. The purpose of being born again is living a born again life. I'm going to say that again. The purpose of being born again is living a born again life. What are you talking about, preacher? Your tongue should be different. Your attitude should be different. Your praise should be better. Your love should be higher. Hallelujah, somebody. Come on, lift him up. You ought to be praising him right now. Now, you talking about a shout message, you ought to be shouting just the mere fact that you turned over your life to Christ. Hallelujah. That can't stay in here. Yeah, anything goes now. We Anything can't go in the house of the Lord. We got to get back to the old landmark. If we planning on leaving in the rapture, you must be born again. That is born of the flesh is flesh. And that that is born of the spirit is spirit. But I will tell you this. I will tell you this. What is spiritual is spiritual. Don't watch what they say. Watch how they act. Don't watch what they say. Watch what they do. If you want to really know a child of God, watch what they do. But you cannot leave that in this house. I'm going to leave that right there. We'd like to thank God for you this morning. We hope that you'll keep praising, lifting him up. I pray that we all be born again. The song says, I pray we all be ready. If you haven't accepted Christ as your Savior, I want you to pray this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, come into my life. I am a sinner, and I know that you died on the cross for my sins, Father, and you rose again, and your name is Jesus. I accept you today as my Savior. Come into my life. Forgive me, Lord, for the things I have done. I want to be washed white as snow. If you pray that prayer with me today, you are saved, and don't let nobody tell you you're not saved. Jesus died on the cross that we all might have a right to this tree of life. He was hung. He was nailed uh, for, for you and for me. And I want to let you know that he died and rose again. He got out of the grave with all power in his hand. You must be born again, but those sins can't stay in here. You might come in the house, but your sins have to get out. God bless you until next time. And we, we ask that God keep you is our prayer.
Till next time.